Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jess, and today I thought I wanted to do something fun, but then I thought we're coming into winter, so I wanted to do like a brown look, and I'll try to find a photo that I did of something similar that I want to do today, but I want to do it a bit differently. So let's see if that works. I'll try to find a photo and put it up here for you guys. If you haven't watched my latest video, that should be of how to um, have creaseless concealer on your eyes. I don't know why I always do with that. If you haven't watched my latest video on how to have creaseless concealer under your eyes and make it last all day, then you should definitely watch that. I'll leave the link to that in my description. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Finally showing the people who you are. Oh, is this actually recording? Yep. Get so fucked. this is George. No way, <laughs> bruh. Don't put this in. You done here, mate? So I'm going in with the Dior backstage light contour. This is our transition shade. Do you want to put it on for me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. For real? <gasps> what? Oh, get out. Get out. Get out. Wrong. Go. That's the wrong. <laughs> That's the wrong what? The wrong spot. I said. What did you say? You didn't say to put it anywhere. You didn't say to put it anywhere. Well, as if you the first thing How you think of is putting it here. To know. Does this look like a big brush? It's a little brush. I Eye brush. Know the difference, bro. Eye brush. I don't know anything. Guys, if you want to see me and my brother do a video, no way. Him doing my makeup. Leave a comment no below. No way, bro. Please. No, fuck no. Please. No. You know how funny it will be if you just put that there. Oh my god. <laughs> You'll be hopeless. I thought you would have learned something over the years. You think I'll pay attention? Sure. Yeah, what it? Oh, yeah, I did. You did for a while. Oh, really? Nick does. You what? Nick does. Boom! Oh, oh maybe he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Does he, does he not? He'll be back. He's just gonna go get some food so we have some quiet time. So while he's gone, let's quickly talk. Oh, he's just, oh my God. And now with our small as the Weaver brush, this is the Petite Crease, and this is Fenty Coco Naughty, another bronzer. And I'm gonna start placing that closer to my actual crease. And I'm not bringing that any higher up. So the technique we're using here is the dab. And then very lightly. We mainly want to like be dabbing that on. Just taking this little precise brush and we're just going to start blending that Fenty Beauty bronzer up. Now, I'm sure you already know what we're going to use. I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to be using, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade, the shade at the back, so Mocha, Chip, and 24-7. And I'm going to be packing that all on my lid. I'm using this little brush from Urban Decay. So just like that. And then I'm going to use the back of this brush to just blend that out. So now I'm going in with a deeper brown and I'm going to be placing that kind of like around, like a loop. I'm going back in with that bronzer shade we used from Dior, that light one. I'm taking that back on the Morphe M506. And I'm gonna just start now by blending out this shade first. And I'm using that softer brown to blend out this harsher brown. So it can blend out more effortlessly and it can blend out into something, not add, not rather than into nothing, if that makes sense. So just keep dipping back into that bronzer shade until you're happy with the consistency. And then we're going to go in and blend the darker shade into the brown. 
Now what I've done is I went in and kind of deepened that shade. I'm going in with a deeper brown now and I'm going to be putting that kind of on the mobile lid but I'm not going to put it on the outer corners. This is just literally a deeper brown. Now I'm going in with a really dark black and I'm just stamping that on my lash line. Nothing dramatic, just to give my eye a bit more definition. Now for lashes, I want to keep it more of a flick. So I'm going in with the Adele lashes in 814. So they're the half lashes. They just give you this little cat eye effect and you can really lift it to make it look more cat eye-ish, if that is a word. <laughs> and pop this lash on the outer half of my eye. Gonna go ahead and use this mascara. Just coat my lashes. Now for brows, I really want to keep it natural. I'm thinking for the rest of the face, I'm going to keep it matte. Oh, I know. I just said matte. Oh my God. And I just feel like because we're coming into winter, I think I should personally do one matte look. Oh my God. I'm just taking this Inglot 63 eyeliner and I'm going to use that for my waterline. So this is one eye. I just put some Inglot gel liner on my waterline. I don't know what color I'm going to put at the top. Probably a dark color um, because I feel like it will look better with the whole smoky look. I'm going to just go ahead and do the other eye and then we'll go ahead and do our skin together. Be right back. So I've already moisturized. I'm going to just go in with the MAC um, Studio Fix in NC40. So I'm just taking my Real Techniques brush. I feel like... You guys know to go with this. Now, if you haven't watched my latest video with my concealer, then you should totally go watch it because I show you how to conceal dark circles and how to make it not creep. Like normal, I'm taking my Anne Hazarati F05 brush. So I'm going back in with the Dior palette and I'm using the same colors we used for our crease. Now, I don't want this look to be like way overly too bronzy, but I am going to go in with the Coco Naughty. And I'm just placing that as like a bronzy contouring. Bringing that up. So I'm taking this big brush from Mecca and I'm just using this to kind of blend everything that we did. What is that? I'm going in with the Illa Mascua and I'm just using this under my eyes. This is going to kind of brighten this a little bit more. Now I'm going back in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless 2 Perfect Finish. And with this, I'm just kind of like going crazy with that. I love this. So I re recently purchased this Natasha Denona Duo Chrome Top Coat and this just, to me, I feel like I have to use it. I'm just taking a brush to start off with because I kind of just want to place that in the center. Actually, you know what, I'm going to just use my finger. I feel like the fingers are always best with this look and I'm just kind of placing that in the middle back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and now I'm gonna just start stamping my lower lash line with the first shade we used. Is he joking? My brother decided to cut the grass so I'm gonna go ahead and put the BYS glass and this is in crystal. Now, I feel like for lips, they're too just white. So I'm going in with the Love Lip Gloss Island Napoleon.
All right, guys, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I thought it was quite easy and fun to do, especially leading into winter now. And since the restrictions are getting slightly lifted, I felt like we should start doing some glam that we can actually wear if we want to be bougie and go out. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if I'd wear this out and I don't know where I'd go, but hey, I'm going to go get some food now. So I think I'm going to leave it on. I know it's a bit dramatic, but... I mean, who doesn't love a little bit of drama in their life? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks guys. Bye.